Hello everybody, my name's Luke and I'm from Samson and join me as I take you through the journey of how to set up this little wonder, the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Okay, from start to finish, we're gonna make sure I tick every single box to put your mind at rest how easy it is to set up a Samson device. So, first things first, let's open her up. Here we go, you'll see here, we've got a 6.7 inch screen, nice and immersive. What I'm gonna do here, I don't speak Polish, so I'm gonna scroll down to English, United Kingdom there, and I'm gonna press on next. So, of course, once you've reviewed and agreed with the few little uh, important legal information, we're gonna press on next and connect to a Wi-Fi. Really important, you need to, at the very, very start, connect to a Wi-Fi. The reason for this is we wanna make sure that this device has the latest and greatest software on there. Of course, if you've got a SIM card in there, you need to be connected to a mobile network. So, let me find our Wi-Fi here. Of course, it's named Samson. Let me type in the password, make sure I've got that right, and I'm gonna connect there. So, here we go, we've, cho we've chosen a network, I'm gonna click on next. This is where it's gonna set up everything we need it to do, so click on next. Here, as I say, it's checking for the update, which we need to make sure we're connected to Wi-Fi or of course a mobile network. Let's get my phone ready. It may take a few minutes, but don't panic. We can fast forward this bit if it does. So yeah, once it's checking all of my uh, the software, it will ask me in a minute to type in my Google um, email address so I can connect to the Play Store. But before we do that, we can copy any apps or data as well from our Google account. I'm gonna press on don't copy and skip this section here. So just a sec, it's getting all the, all the relevant information. And soon, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. So here, I'm not gonna sign into my Samsung account, I'm not gonna sign into my, my Google account just yet, but this is where you would do that. So I'm gonna press on skip at the bottom. It prompts me, you sure you wanna skip? You know, you're missing out on the Google Play Store. For this instance, I'm gonna skip this section here. And again, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, we know that, it's checked for updates, making sure we've got the right time and date here. Click on next. Uh, more Google services, so it's going to be scanning for any sort of updates to its security. Again, send diagnostics, click on more, click on accept, and we're getting ready to enjoy our brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3. This is great, this is something brand new. It asks us straight away what search engine we want to use. You've got the option of Privacy Wall, Google, Microsoft Bing, or of course info.com. I'm going to click on Google, and I'm click on next. Really important. This is where we can set up any form of security. You've got face recognition, fingerprints on the side there, pattern, pin, or password. Again, I'm gonna skip this section, but make sure you guys are setting up at least one of these security settings. And again, nice, it prompts us. Are you sure you don't wanna put security in there? For this instance, no, but make sure you guys are doing that when you get this brand new device. So I'm gonna skip anyway. Let's get my phone ready. So the next bit you have to sign into is our Samsung account. I'm not today, but I definitely employ you guys to get involved in our Samsung account because if you do decide to skip, you'll be missing out on all of this information here. Number one, Bixby. You need a Samsung account to get involved in our own personal assistant called Bixby. Galaxy themes are available through the Galaxy App Store. Again, only accessible once you've got a Samsung account. We're not stopping there. You can also find your device with Find My Mobile. Really, really important. We don't want to lose our devices, all right? But if the unthinkable could happen, with a Samsung account, you can find your device with Find My Mobile. Samsung Pass, one of my favorite features is Samsung Pass. Auto sign in. You never have to remember a password again with Samsung Pass. It's got me out of a pickle so many times. Again, Galaxy Store, as mentioned, we've got our very own Galaxy Store. We can download all the latest and greatest apps and then secure folder. Have a device within a device and save really important information like your driving license or pictures of your passport in secure folder where nobody else can get it apart from you. Okay, so make sure you're signing in with your Samsung account. I'm gonna skip it for this section here. Skip. And again, here we are. This is where it tells us everything we need to know to take care of our Galaxy Z Flip 3. 
It tells you don't press too hard on the screen. When you find your phone, make sure there's nothing inside it, such as keys or cards or coins. You need to make sure this, this device isn't dust resistant. So remember that this device is not dust resistant. It's water resistant with its IPX8 rating, but it is not dust resistant. So it can withstand water, meter and a half, for half an hour. So be a little bit mindful around any dusty environments. Once you've taken care of your device, once you've learned everything to do to keep this device in top condition, we're gonna press on next and then we're done. All set up. But one of my favorite add-ons to the Galaxy Z Flip 3 range is you've got Explore Your Galaxy. So you click on that, it will give you handy tips and tricks to get the very most straight away out of your brand new device. And you'll just swipe through these once you've learned a little bit more about each of these points, answer and ending calls in style, using the camera while the phone's closed. It tells you everything you need to know and there's only 13 handy steps. Flexing your device, make the most of flex mode, so our hand-free video calling, hand-free selfie taking, everything like that. Open apps in split for you. You can have up to two apps open at any one time. We keep on going. Save your most used split screens. You can save that for the two applications you have open the most. Discover features in Samsung Labs. There's, these are the new, brand new features in Samsung Labs. Bit more protecting your privacy. And then you've got your share power to other devices with our wireless power share. So it makes sure that you're ready to rock and roll with this brand new device. And then you just click on back. Click on finish, and there you go. You're ready to get involved in your brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3. And do not forget Samsung Smart Switch. The easiest and quickest way of switching from your old device to your new device with Samsung Smart Switch. It will transfer everything and anything you could possibly want to keep. That's it guys, my name's been Luke again, and that is everything you need to know about how to set up your Galaxy Z Flip 3.